All right. In order to remove this type of fan here, you need to hold this hub steady while loosening this giant nut right here. And they make a special tool that slides over these nuts like a big wrench over all four of them and holds the hub steady so you can loosen this. And it's a big flat, it's a big flat wrench. It slides over these bolts and holds that hub steady. I don't own it and I don't feel like running down and spending any more money right now. So let's see if we can make our own. Here is a uh, pair of calipers. We've got them set them on. We got them set on freedom units. Let's measure the the width of the bolt pattern here. Feels pretty good. See what it says. About 2.1 inches. Let's lock the calipers by tightening this little screw here. And check it again. Feels pretty good. I think 2.1 ought to do it. All right, let's go make the wrench. All right, let's check the scrap steel pile. Whenever you have little bits of steel and stuff, never throw them away. Just keep them all. Here's a good little flat piece. Here's a beefy piece here. It's probably a little bit too beefy. Let's go check over here. I got all this steel on this rack here. Let's check over here. We got... Here's a piece. It's pretty nice. It looks like one... One by one eighth. All right, let's take those over to the workbench and see what we can do. All right, let's take a look at the three pieces we found in the scrap pile. This looks like three quarter by an eighth. This looks like one inch by an eighth. And this looks like one inch by three, uh, like a quarter. This one is probably perfect right here. Looks pretty beefy, thin enough. So let's make it out of this one here. This is the Goldilocks of our scrap. Drop a couple drops of Earl here. Fire up. Safety first. No ground plug because welders are short. All right, we've got our new wrench here. And let's bring in the other wrench that we're going to need. So I've got this old pipe wrench here. And I've already adjusted it to the size of that large nut. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's slid over the bolts. Let's see if we can slide our other wrench over the big nut in the middle. And let's give it a crank. <clears throat> well, something happened. Well, I was wrong about this eighth inch by uh, one inch strip here it uh, it didn't work out look at it it's all twisted up so let's try again with our quarter inch thick by one inch bar stock okay. all right this time we'll go three inches
looks pretty good. Just hold her up the rest of the way. In an ideal world, your welding bench is not made of wood. Let's knock these welds down a little bit so they're not in the way. Here's our new wrench. Let's go try her out on the truck. All right. I uh, found in my thing a 1 and 7 eighths wrench to go on the fan clutch. And we've got our new, our new uh, specialized tool to hold the hub. All right, got it. All right, let me show you guys. There she is, all loosened up. Let's see if we can get her to spin off using the friction of the clutch. Okay, get my wrench off. The uh, bolts on the fan shroud are eight millimeter. We use our little quarter inch drive. Now we gotta remove this top radiator hose. They make a special pair of pliers for that, but I've always just used channel locks. Damn clamp broke. All right. fan out okay that's it and I'll uh, put it on the shelf and I could still use the steel for something else if I need to but uh, saves 35 bucks all right you guys that's how you remove a fan clutch without the special tool have a good one bye